Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do my new extensions. I got new extensions because I'm going blonder and I just wanted new ones. They haven't been blended yet, so I'm gonna do a braid with them so I don't look like a crazy person. I'm going to give some tips for when you're doing ombre and you still have your dark roots so that when the wind blows, you don't have like a bunch of blonde strips in your hair. So let's get started. One thing I'm gonna rave about real quick and I will link below and on my blog is these little hair ties. It's so funny, they look weird, but like I sleep with them now or sometimes I'll get my makeup ready with them and they don't leave like, I can brush out my hair and it doesn't leave that big like <coughs> when you use like a regular hair tie. Like I still use these sometimes, but when I'm like gonna just throw my hair real fast or I'm gonna sleep with it, I use these. So I will link them in my blog and I will link my blog down below. So anyways. Okay, so see how my hair is getting a lot lighter? Like, way lighter. And my other extensions, I could have kept dyeing them, but I was like, I'll just save them for when I go back to dark. And instead of like, you know, doing that to my extensions, I'll just get new ones. Plus, I just want new ones. I was gonna vlog, you know, what to ask for and stuff like that, but... <laughs> the lady in there is cry cry, and she's so funny. Like, she makes me laugh, but I didn't know if I could keep a serious face. Not yet, I just started blogging, so I'm still getting used to like all the all the things that it takes to get used to, like having a camera around people, because you will no filter. So, let me see. I'm gonna section it off. A lot of people seem to have gotten new extensions since my last video. That I know, like people that I see on a daily basis. And they look really, really good. So I got 18 inch, I shouldn't have. I listened to Lady and I shouldn't have done that because she's like, oh, you just put your extensions up higher. No, like my hair is too short to do that. Like this is where my hair ends and, and then this is where it keeps going. Like I, that's too noticeable to me, too noticeable. What I should have done is maybe 12, 16 inch, and then 18 inch, like to blend it. But I'm gonna do a braid, and then I'm not sure if I'm gonna go get another like 16 or 12 inch, just to like, just so it looks more like layers. I don't, I could have my hairdresser blend it, but then she'd have to cut off all this, and I don't want, I feel like that's a waste of buying extensions, but I should just go buy another, I should just go buy another one and like blend it. So I'm gonna probably speed this part up because um, I already have a video of how to put in my extensions. I'll link it below if you haven't seen it because this is really just for the braid and for people that are gonna do the ombre look so that it's just a tip for y'all. So you don't have like, like a blonde like this. Like if the wind blows, you don't want to just see like that look ugly. And I'm not teasing my hair because I'm gonna be doing the braid. Okay, so I'm gonna stop right here for a second because this is where the tip comes in from the girls, for my girls that have ombre. You are going to use, see how this is just like bleh, like that looks ugly. Like if the wind blows, you're just gonna see this. So, Match your hair color. But L'Oreal Paris Root Magic Cover Up. It is washable, so when you wash your extensions, it will come out. But what I like about this is it's temporary gray concealer spray, but I'm using light brown because I'm gonna temporarily cover this up. Just a little bit, so if the wind blows, it's not like, ah, as bad. And then I'm gonna do the same over here. If I can, I'm not gonna be able to see it because I have to.
You can do it to your extensions before you put them in. That way, if the wind blows, it's not that whoop, harsh blonde line. Now I'm going to do two more. Here and I'll give an example. Now there are extensions that you can buy already ombre, but if you don't find them, like just don't feel like, oh man, that you can't do anything. So I could have bought ombre once, but I don't want to because I might end up not being ombre anymore. Who knows? But for now. Now I'm an ombre. <laughs> and see, this is the perfect example right here. Since I'm going so high to my root, I don't always, ex I don't recommend doing this, like going so high, because when you, <laughs> it just doesn't look good. I, I don't know. It's a lot easier when you go so high to the crown of your head like that it could be seen. But see how this would be the perfect example. Like if the wind blew right now, or if I were just to play with my hair, which I play with my hair a lot, that's why I don't do the crown. Cause I, I can play with my crown and not like be so obvious. But again, see, much better. Sweeties. I'm going to curl my hair and then I'm going to go on to the braid. I'm just gonna show you this part, see? How it's like, chur, chur. And when girls wear it straight, we can tell. Like, like you can't straighten that much into it, like we can tell. Like, it, And the best compliment you can get is that people do not tell that you have extensions. Other than in your hair being so flawlessly perfect, like. You don't want people to be like, oh, it's so obvious. Fishtail, two parts. Try to get them as even as you can, ladies. Two parts. And you're gonna take one little strand from the bottom. And you're gonna wrap it around. And you're going to pull it over to where it goes to this one. I'm trying to do it the best to wear like. And then you're gonna grab a little piece from the back. And you're gonna wrap it around. And you're gonna put it over to this one. A little piece from the back. Wrap it around. 
pull it over to the other side. Piece from the back. And you can go as thick or as thin as you want to on your piece. Wrap it around. And you can kind of see the braid starting to form. you can stick them in you look what the end will stick them back in you'll see what I mean I don't know if any of mine came out yet but I'm sure they will because my hair is different lengths starting to get smaller at the end just do as much as you can until you can't go no more I mean or you can stop high and like leave a long pony but I'm gonna go as much as I can you can use a clear band I'm using this one because I'm going to Hide it in a second. And then these ones, you can tuck them in. I mean, tuck it in and pull it through. You can body pin this, tuck it in the back of the braid. You can hide this with a cute scrunchie, but that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this cute little tutorial. Blend your extensions until your hairdresser can blend them for you. But that's the finished look. I'm gonna go run errands now. So if you like this video, please like, share, subscribe. Let me know if you wanna see more. Um, I don't know that many braids. I know like different hairstyles, but Oh, braids. Fishtails are my favorite because they're the prettiest. And they, they look so pretty, but they're really not that hard. Anyways, um, slide in my DMs, leave a comment, email me, whatever you want to do. But I hope you really enjoyed this, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye, guys. I have a bobby pin. What the fuck is that? It was this. I swear. <laughs> Boyfriend's uh, beard trimmer. I don't know how I turned it on, so I don't know. Oh. Oh my god, I don't know. <laughs> that was slightly embarrassing. I was just looking for a bobby pin.